Hey, Mr. Chamberlain here. I wanted to go over some of the ways to create a table for your load calculation. So what I'm going to do is set this up in Excel. It takes a little bit of uh, work to get there, but I'll show you some shortcuts. So hopefully this will help for you guys to get this set up. You're going to modify it and make it your own, but let's get started. All right, so here's the E11 standards I've opened up. You can download these in the ABYC format, and if you just pick E11, you can download this for free as a PDF. If you get stuck on that, just feel free to um, email me, and I can put those up on Canvas as well. So I'm going to go down to the um, E11, down into the standards to find that table, which is the load calculation. There it is. All right, so here is your DC load calculation table. So as I said, E11.8, section one, there's your DC, here's your calculation table. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create something like this to put in your project. And it's important that you understand how to do this if you're ever creating a major um, you know, rework, a DC rework on a boat. So if you're gonna redo a panel, you're ripping out an old panel, you're putting in new things, a big stereo, some lights, you know, inverter things like this is this is where this is going to come into play and this is what electrical engineers design but you as well can do this it's not that complex the biggest thing to understand is what are we looking for is we're trying to figure out what the maximum current flow through this dc panel is going to be so we can figure out what that actual use size and wire size is. so let's get started so I want to copy this and I want to copy this and put this into Excel to make it a little easier for me to, to comprehend. Now, two ways to do that. One is you try to drop, drop it into Excel and it doesn't work. So we're going to use Word first. Let's put your mouse up here. Here we go. It's only going to highlight the text. What I really want to do is try to get all of this just highlight it. Right click, copy, minimize this. Here's my Word program. Right click and click paste. This is I need to just highlight this column because I want to put it in Excel and set it up in a column. So I'm going to try to highlight as much as I can here until it probably does that. And then I'm going to stop. Right click this, click copy. Come over here into Excel, lines down so I can modify it, and click paste. And then I can make that column wider so I can read it. I can change the text later. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. It's down. Let's see. Now I'm going to go back. This little bit. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to try and catch column two. Over here, drag. Until it goes to that point, right click, copy, come over the column next to it, right click, paste. This column. So now it's close, it's not perfect, but it's close. I have to move this down just a little bit. Hold this, bring it down to the same column. Right. So now here's the next part. This is the other part that I Copy this, okay. and I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to put it down here and see what happens. Paste. And it worked. That's fine. Now here's another little trick. I want to make all of these columns the same height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with column A. It's going to make everything. Select all of these. Hold your mouse button down, okay. and then just right click in it, and it will say row height. And you can simply pick a number, 20, and see what happens. If that's not high enough, click again, click height, 30. Now it's starting to get to a height that maybe that fits in pretty well, right? Then what we need to do is we need to maybe move this over or add another column in here. So right click, insert column. 
we'll insert one to the, to the right. And I'm just going to make that a small break column. So it separates my numbers here from the beginning of this column. So we can say that what is column A? Column A is what would you call column A? Column A is required electrical devices. Those are going to be the ones that you need to have you know, at night in a storm, something like that. Those are your 3% voltage drop ones. The other ones could be the 10% voltage drop ones. That's why the columns are separate and that's why the math comes out separate. I really want to know what the amperage of this circuit is. So this, this railing needs to go over here. Take this and put it over there. I'm going to take this and put it over there. So now that is the column name. Now let's just put some numbers in. So let's put in, make it kind of look nice. You can always highlight it all and you can put it on the left side or you can put it in the middle, wherever you want to do it. You can move it into the middle of the column, which is kind of nice. So there's some features here that are real easy to manipulate. You know, I like things in the center. I just make it I think it looks good, right? But it's up to you. It depends on how much time you want to spend. Now, when we get down here and you've added all the things that are major in here, now it becomes the fun part. So what I'm going to do is instead of standby mode, I'm just going to put in column total a total. Okay. And then I could put over here column B. Total. These I can do the same thing looks cool. What I want to do is I want to total up this column, the sum of the column. Okay. So easy enough, just go in here, go up to the top, and you see the FX button? That's a function button. So what that tells you is that tells you that you are going to put a Excel function program in that box. If you simply click on it, it will allow you to choose from an assortment of different options. The average, the replace, extract, blah, blah, blah. The big thing, I want to sum. So if I click OK, it's going to ask me which columns do I want to have a total of. And that is going to be 7 and C. So C7, there, that column that I want is I want the sum of C7. So I'm going to change this to C7. Seven. And I want to total all the way down to column C17. And it picks C18. It's okay. Should have put this up here. But that's okay. Let's just click OK. And what it does is it gives you that total. Now I can take this box. And it says, I don't like it when you do that. Right? It's going to get mad because it changes that function, see, function of the sum says I wanted the column total of this number as well as that. So you want to change that to 17. Notice what happens if you do that column 17 is it actually picture and shows you in blue what the sum total is. So here's your sum total. You do the math, you know, 10, 20. 30, you can see it's somewhere 57. Easy way to total that. So let's put a number over here. Let's just say that's 85. You do the math, you get a sum of this total, and you come up. Now here is the total load required. So that is basically what is the total of what you're going to end up to determine how much current is going to flow through that panel. So you can figure out your maximum use size. So, and now what we want to do is I really want to put the total of column B and everything over here and the total of column A. Then I can make the total of everything. I'm going to drag this over just to get it in an area where you can. 
total of column B. Here, and the reason I'm doing that is, and you can delete boxes, is what I want to do is I want to be able to show you what this really means. So let's just read this again. Total load required is total of column A added to total of column B. The total of column B is going to be the larger of either 10% of column B or the largest item. So let's write that out so we really don't make a mistake. I'm going to take the total of column B and put it. Then what I'm going to do is take the largest of column B here and the larger of 10% column B, right? So 10% is what I want to know. 10% of the total. Let's throw some numbers in here. Okay. Here is the total of column B. I'm just going to delete this. So, all right. Now, the total of column B is easy. You just use the same function button, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit X, right? And sum. Right? Click OK. If it's seven, click OK. And then if you just click on this, it will show you this is the total. And here's the sum. Okay. We got to do to get out. So there's the total, 272 amps. That's going to be the total current in that. Now, here's the magic. The largest item of column B, you have to look. That's 150. That's easy. For you. So I'm going to put it in one. Now, what is 10% of the total? Real easy. You don't do any math. You can come up here. You can simply use the function button. But watch this. Use your equal key. So equal sign. Right? And what you want to do is there is the math, which is easy. So you're going to put the percentage, which is 10%, which is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and then the Time symbol, which is the asterisk, okay, and then the total, and that is column B, right? So now what I could put is the column. Check it. 18 is the total. Enter 27.2. Okay. So here's that function button again. You can you can take any area that you want and you put it into another column. So now what we're going to do is we need to total this up. Which one is greater of these two? 10% of the largest item, obviously the largest item, right? Total of column A, total of column B, largest item, that will be greater than the total of column B. Now, if you've got a whole bunch of other things in column B and it gets up to 300 amps or something like that, you know, and you didn't have a windlass, then you may be using 10% now what I want is the total load required. That's going to be to figure out what the total amperage is. So what I can do is I can simply put in equals. I can click on that one. I can click plus. I can click on the largest item of column B, 18. Enter. That tells me why. Load is so 57.2 plus 150, 207. So there's your shortcut again. I simply put the equal sign, I can sorry, equal sign, I can click any box I want, and I can do any function. So the functions are addition, multiplication. Division okay, and subtraction, obviously. So any of those functions you want to do, that's what you can do there. So now we have the total load required for your DC panel. Okay, so you are then 
and make this look pretty. One of the things you want to do is you want to make your columns have you know, outlines. So just simply highlight the boxes that you want. Up here, the drop down arrow, figure out your borders. I like all borders. You can do the same thing over here. I like them all, all borders. Down here, there's the come. And then, of course, you can change the font size. That's the number. Again, wrap text. So there's your total load required. From that, we're going to figure out what we need for a main breaker. So now, remember, the windlass itself, which is a giant winch, probably has some type of control devices attached to it. So remember our electrical class, remember that we used a solenoid to control another solenoid or a relay. So a relay controls a solenoid that controls the starter motor. This would be the relay that controls the solenoid that controls the windlass. So what you're interested in, you're interested in is the relay control, maybe the solenoid but not the windlass the windlass is going to have its own separate cable so this number what if that becomes 15. watch what happens oh that totally changed change that right the total of that just changed and now what if i just wanted to say well let's add them up so there is a plus whatever the total, you know, largest number is. This, I didn't put into equal that. So largest of this would have been 35, which would be 12 F. What? 12 would be 12 enter. Can't do that, okay? You have to use the equal sign. So again, of that get your equal sign well that's how you put that number there and then this automatically takes the total does the math that this is going to add to this and that's how you do your function so remember if you want to simply put a number from a column in another area that's going to be part of a calculation your equal sign then pick whatever that column is, and you can simply click on it. Once you hit the equal sign, it automatically puts it in there. So that makes it a shortcut. Then just hit enter. There's your shortcuts, folks. So um, you can play around with this, get this set up. If you need more help, let me know. You, know. you can make this look pretty however you want to do it. You can change the fonts and all that. And then this is going to go into a page of your paper. So let's look at that. Get a new page. Here's where I'm going to put my DC load calculation table. And if I want to go in the good, now I'm going to come over here, simply take all of this, highlight it. Just Click and hold it and drag it. Right click in it anywhere in a box. Copy. Here. Paste. And voila, folks. It's, and it looks like a million bucks. Okay. So that's how you can manipulate that. If you have any further questions, feel free. Just ask. If you need to get in a Zoom meeting or something here and go back and forth through this. If you want me to show you on the screen while you're watching, then whatever I can do to help you. I know it's a complex um, paper and project, but it's not that hard.